Hello everyone, Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So we've got a, another interactive um, envelope for journals and it's something that I saw on YouTube and I thought I would bring it into my journals. So it's three pockets and this one folds in this one folds in and it has a flap over there and I've just closed it like a policy pocket and I thought it was quite nice I also when I did the the envelope the foot flap I did like a, a little gusset so that you could put you know a, a few things in it so this was made with a 12 by 12 this is I'm going to make it with an A4 um size um, perfect equal amount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure it on here and i think what we'll do is we'll do So just make sure and then that way you've got this one folds in first and as you can see it's not fully four inches but this one folds right over. And then what we want to do is we want to cut this piece out. So open this out. And I'm quite excited because I've got my new digitals for my new journal and it's called Tulips from Amsterdam. So this is a sneak peek of one of the, the digitals. Um, and I will be using this in my, in my journal. I'm just going to, and then we'll... Put that up there. And where you've got the, the crease marks here, because putting that up there and folding it in, you can see you, you're not going to get a perfect. Um, so what we want to do is we need to take a slither out of here. Just cut one side of the fold to that crease and then cut the other side of the fold to that crease and then you've got but if you take it up to the the arrows and just guesstimate the middle I think that's round about the middle. There we are. And normally I would fold that one up and stick the edges down with that one, but I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little pockets. So I'm just using some paper that I've got I'm just going to trim this off so what I want here is I want that one there and I want that one there 
and I want that one there so I'm just going to put that up find the middle the way to find the middle is just fold it in half or you can guesstimate it <laughs> Yeah, so I recently visited Amsterdam and um, we were there for four or five days, really enjoyed it. So I decided to do a journal. I took plenty of photographs and did some sightseeing. It was, it was really nice. Um, And the only thing was, I and mean, the hotel that we stayed in was nice, but it was a typical um, Dutch hotel. The stairs were like as steep as ladders. Um, apparently it's one of the things, because the Dutch houses are quite narrow. Um, so they wanted as much space as possible, so the stairs were kind of... So it was quite funny, we had... Um, Two flights of stairs to get up to the reception so as you were getting to the second the top of the second flight you know if anybody was waiting to come down and um, all you could see was feet <laughs> and then we had another flight to go up to our room so luckily we didn't have any heavy cases because we were only there for a couple of days well four or five days um, there were people coming in, youngsters coming in with like great big huge heavy cases. How they how they got them up them stairs, I don't know. But it was right in the city centre, um, so it was really nice. Um, we didn't have a canal out out of our um, the front of our hotel. Ours was a road, um, and the trams were going practically all night and but we really enjoyed it we did the Anne Frank tour and um, we just did a, a normal tour of like a city walking tour and learnt a bit about the, the history of, of Amsterdam. It's a beautiful place. Um, we did a, a canal, we took a, a private canal um, tour. Um, it was about an hour, an hour and a half. And it was really nice. It was nice just being on the water and the Dutchman that took us on the, the tour, you know, he, he, he was really good. Um, he gave us all the information that we needed, um, asked, answered questions. So there, we've got a pocket there. We've got a pocket there. And we're going to have a pocket here. Let me have a look, make sure that's... Take that off there. And I also picked up some bits and pieces, obviously I do um, when I'm on <laughs> holiday. I pick up all sorts just to give me some ideas. Um, and we went to meet my husband's sister um, and brother-in-law. Um, they, they live in America, so they were doing a... a holiday to Italy for a couple of days then went on to Switzerland and then did a cruise down the Rhine so obviously that's when we met them um, so we had a great time uh, they stayed in a, a proper hotel what I call a proper hotel with lifts <laughs> no, no stairs 
Yes. <laughs> so we went there a few times. Um, so then that folds up there. That folds in there and that folds over there. So what I'm going to do is I need a kind of um, just a, a small gusset. Um, and I'm just, just measuring it and just looking for my fingers. This is just a pen with all the different um, ball tools. That's a one, a 1.5, sorry, a two, and then it has a, a porky tool. So I'm going to do the 1.5 and just press that down there. And that should just give me enough of a dent just to allow me to fold it. It has but it's not allowing me to fold that set and I'm just going to take that off do you have any and just taking a sliver off this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the edges, the corner. And put it around this edge. And this edge. Put them away. So now we have a like a, a a gusset so that we you know if if there is anything heavy going in that goes in there and there we have it um i'm not going to do a policy folder on that one i'm not quite sure what what i want for that one yet um but one of the things that i did pick up in in Amsterdam from the Pulitzer Hotel these are tea bags um, you know you get your English tea and I thought they were quite cool so you get your like your little glassine envelope and it has your your tea bag in um, but it's kept in this like folder and I thought that would be nice for like a tag so I'm going to have a go at making sort of like a swing tag but that's got pockets on but it's protected by this folder so watch this space so we can put all our bits of um, pieces that we've picked up um, Got some tickets here. Got some tickets. Uh, I do have some little tags. Some little tags there. So there we are. No, oh, the short one goes in first. So what I might do is I might put um, a policy pocket and put um, string round. I'm still swithering whether to put a kind of belly band um, round it. But another thing you could do if you wanted, you could make them, you know, your flap, this flap is smaller. Make them all smaller and give yourself like a wee spine in between for putting more things in so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to stamp this little bit here and i've got a tulip stamp And 
will that one fit in here and we'll do the because this one says tuna and I quite like it and I'll just make sure that I get it all in there we are oh dear made a mess of that but there we are and if you wanted you could just do the tulip and use a piece of scrap paper if I can find some scrap paper and there we are and I've got ink on there but never mind we'll just put some edging on that and we'll put some bits and pieces on there there isn't anything um you know if you do make a mistake like that don't worry about it just come up with a, a bit of this is just a bit of book page um that'll fit on there just in from the edges and it all blends in Just do the, the double edge. And this. Should have done this before I filled it with ephemera really, but that's because I like to see things how they look. <laughs> I'm impatient. a bit there we are and as i say i'm not sure whether i want a bit uh, sort of like a, a belly band like a um a band around that to keep it fastened or whether i just want to put like a little stud and just do some string round but i will be doing more of these to put in my journal because i quite like them um and i quite like that and you could put more little pockets on there and things like that so thank you for joining me see you in the next video bye